What's up, you guys? guys? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm Audrey. And I am Hui. And we just recently got back from Hawaii, specifically Oahu, and we made two vlogs already. So if you like more of a vlog style, make sure to go check out those videos. But this video is just gonna be a quick video of our top favorite places to eat in Oahu. So we hope you guys enjoy. All right, starting off with breakfast places. First up, we have Island Vintage. So there's technically two places you can go to, the coffee shop or the wine bar. There's always a line at the coffee shop. At the wine bar, they serve the same food and drinks. So we would recommend to just make reservations in advance for the wine bar, and then that way you get to skip the line at the coffee shop. We love their coffee. I always enjoy the Island Latte. And for food, you should definitely order the Halpia Moana Acai Bowl, the Eggs Benedict, and the Wagyu Beef Loco Moco. Everything just tastes so fresh and it's so flavorful portions are pretty decent size so make sure you just order a few things and share next we have kona coffee purveyors this place serves some delicious pastries and coffee and there's also always a line for it but we never wait longer than 30 minutes and we think it is well worth it to try their queen amon because it is one of the best queen amons i've ever had so definitely recommend going there another great sit down breakfast spot is yogurt story we always try to come here before 8 a.m to avoid the crowds and we've gotten a table right away every single time so highly recommend doing that we both ordered a macadamia nut latte and it was pretty good it did its job but i don't think they're really known for the coffee so just keep that in mind however their food is really good their bay eggs benedict is something you must get the pork is super juicy and the egg is cooked to perfection they're also known for their ube pancakes so we also highly recommend getting that the last breakfast spot we want to highlight is the curb they have this delicious kaya toast that is super silky smooth and i honestly think about this toast all the time after we leave oahu they also have this lihing yogurt park that is really good so definitely recommend trying those two things all right that's it for breakfast now let's move on to lunch for lunch the first place we have is Adela's Country Eatery we came here because there was a lot of hype about it on social media and honestly it didn't disappoint they were on Yelp's top places to eat in 2023 and also voted to have the best cheesecake in every state we got their taro cream pasta and their malungai lechon pasta and we really enjoyed both of them but i think the taro cream pasta won by a little bit portions are huge so like one pasta is probably enough for three people so just make sure you share there's also no seating for this place so once we got our food we headed to a nearby park and ate there and of course we had to try their cheesecake so we got an ube cheesecake cake as dessert. I can't say that I was mind blown by it, but it did taste pretty good. Marugame Udon is a classic spot. There's almost always a line out the door, but for good reason. The Udon is made fresh and it has the perfect chewy texture, so it's so good. They also have a pick your own tempura bar, so that's also fun. The price is super reasonable and you get a good amount of food, so definitely recommend going there. This most recent trip, we tried this place called Debu. They sell tofu pockets with different toppings and we enjoyed it so much, we went twice during the trip. We tried most of the flavors and they were all really good, so you really can't go wrong with any of them. We also tried their Debru roll and it was also very tasty. Next up, we have Jenny's Shrimp Truck, which is in the North Shore area. We really like this place better than Giovanni's. We always get the spicy garlic shrimp and it is super flavorful. It is not too spicy. Their rice is such good texture. I just remember going to Giovanni's and the rice was super mushy. But bonus points for Jenny's because they give you a piece of pineapple for dessert and they also take credit card. If you like musubis, then Musubi Cafe is a must stop. They have a lot of different flavors to choose from. My personal favorite is the Spam Bacon and Egg. Please is the spam egg and unagi flavors are so good the bacon and the unagi adds a nice smokiness flavor and the egg is slightly sweet so it is just literally like a flavor explosion in your mouth we love taking these to the beach with us or just to have as a snack in between meals and the last lunch spot is alicia's market we found out about this place because a local told us and they do half meat and half poke bowls so we like getting the roasted pork and the spicy ahi poke and honestly it is so good the pork is always so so crispy the ahi poke has the perfect like sauce to fish ratio the only thing we have to complain about is the rice because they use plain rice instead of sushi rice but it is still really good and you should definitely go try it now we are moving on to dinner we say these are dinner spots because they don't open until 4 or 5 p.m the first dinner spot we have is Maguro brothers this is definitely a must stop for us every time we are in oahu they have the freshest fish their sushi rice is delicious and the price for everything is just so reasonable 
and it was so flavorful and the fish was just so melt in your mouth we also got a side of their uni and he said that their uni is one of the best uni he's ever had this place is so good highly recommend it it gets really busy when they open so just keep that in mind that you might have to wait in line onkatsu tamafuji is another great spot if you are able to plan very far ahead you usually need to make reservations for this place six months in advance or you can do what we did both times that we came which is arrive 30 to 40 minutes before they open and put your name down on the walk-in list all the food we've tried here is so good but highly recommend the pork and shrimp katsu i personally think that's the best and you can't go wrong with it so definitely get that lastly we are on dessert so the first time we came to oahu we tried like five different shave ice places just to compare and Wayola is still number one for us their ice texture is just so good and we like that we can get the kid size and it's the perfect amount for one person i feel like sometimes shave ice can be like too sweet because of all the syrup so yeah they just have the perfect size next we have ululani's which is originally from maui and we tried it when we were there their ice texture is also really good and they offer different toppings from viola so we definitely recommend trying both places and see which one you like best and the last place on this list is Sweet As, which is in the North Shore area. They use real fruit in their ice cream and you can also choose like the base of what you want. So you can choose ice cream or like yogurt and it's just perfectly sweet and it's a nice break from having shave ice all the time. So yeah, definitely recommend going there when you're in the North Shore. And that is it for this video. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below and hit that subscribe button. And last but not least, don't forget to keep Winning, Winning at, at life. life. See you next video. Bye. Bye.